y'all, I'm Melissa from Melly Sews, and today I am joined by my cousin. Hi, I'm Andrea. And Andrea, like me, has short girl problems. So today we're talking about how to take a t-shirt and make it smaller. This is handy when you buy a thrifted t-shirt that's too large or when you, as we did, find nicer t-shirts in the men's department but they are too large. So we're going to grab your t-shirt and then show you how to do this. Okay, so the first step in making a shirt smaller is to get out one that you like the fit of and you want to match the centers of the shirts. So make sure that they're lined up there. And then we're gonna use this shirt as a guideline for where we need to cut the larger shirt. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to cut, leaving a seam allowance, but using that sleeve and that side seam as a guideline, cut my shirt. And I'm leaving a little bit bigger seam allowance than what I'll need to sew. And I'm doing that because once I've done kind of my rough cuts, I'm going to want to fold this in half and make sure that my cuts are symmetrical. So I want to leave myself a little bit of room for error. Okay, once I've done that, then I need to cut out the sleeves and the shoulders. So I actually want to keep the sleeves mostly intact, so I'm going to cut them right on the seam line here. And then finally, I need to estimate where the shoulders are going to be and where my sleeve is going to be cut out. So I'm going to cut kind of an armhole there. And once I've got those pieces sliced out, then I want to go ahead and fold my shirt in half and make sure that cut evenly. So you can see, for example, on this side here, I need to cut in a little more. So I'm just gonna even these out. Next, I want to make sure that my sleeves are going to fit in the armholes. So laying this back out flat, I want to pay special attention to the armholes. And I just want to double check that my sleeve is going to be the same length as the armhole, which that looks pretty good. I am going to cut the sleeves down, however, though, because if you look at these sleeves, you'll notice they're much shorter than these sleeves. So, just kind of mark off the total length I want with the snip, adding the seam allowance to the hem. And the length up here is correct. So then I need to cut basically like this. And that's going to give me this sleeve shaped more like this instead of the square boxy sleeves that I had to begin with. So let's sew it together. To start, I'm going to match up a sleeve and Alright, then I want to stitch along that edge and repeat that on the other side as well. Once you have sewn in the sleeves, you'll have one sleeve here, one sleeve here, and then you want to take the entire t-shirt and fold it right sides together. Match up those underarm seams, and then you want to stitch all in one go down 
each side of the t-shirt. Okay, once you've sewn the side seams, since we kept the original hems, you can either be done or if this shirt is too long, you can go ahead and cut off however much you want to take off of the length. and then fold it for hemming. You only need to fold once because knit fabric won't unravel. So make your hem even and press it, then stitch all the way around and you're done. Okay y'all, so that's it. We've gone ahead and we have sewn the hem all the way around. I did use my cover stitch machine to do this, but I'm gonna link a video at the end with some other options for doing um, stitches on knits that you can use for hemming. And now we've got a t-shirt that is much more your size, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yep, I think that's gonna be a much better fit. So that's how to make a t-shirt smaller. Mm -hmm.